I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend our unity and uphold our honor and glory. So help me God. Nigerians uh, to tell everybody uh, at home, and um, we don't want a democracy where we will be lied to uh, by any individual, which obviously is the problem we have uh, with uh, uh, Mahmoud uh, Yakubu, is that uh, he assured everybody in the world that uh, this was going to be the best election ever, but now it turns out to be the worst election ever. So we will be uh, at this event sending the message uh, to the rest of the world what our uh, previous is and uh, what we demand. These demands we already have sent, like I said, we've sent them to the uh, U.S. Capitol, to the White House, and also to the State Department. And we're going to be following uh, those uh, very aggressively. All that... Uh, uh, dovetails into the demands that uh, we have articulated and uh, presented uh, to the U.S. Congress, uh, to the White House, and also the State Department. And uh, we are going to be pursuing uh, all this. And uh, we are also hoping that every one of you, uh, in your respective times, uh, continue to reach out to your um, lawmakers. Uh, we are going to keep uh, making sure that uh, we are in their ears every moment until you know, we let those people in Nigeria who want to steal our money know that you know, this must not uh, stand. And uh, of course, uh, I, you know, it's a big surprise uh, for us uh, to have uh, our sister Aisha uh, to be here today and uh, of course, uh, always uh, you know, doing the uh, very fiery uh, speech, and uh, the fact that uh, she spent so much time with us here today. I mean, I know how many times I've tried to call her from Nigeria, it's, it's difficult to get her. Uh, <laughs> but uh, here we are today, uh, being graced uh, by, uh, by her presence. Um, like we mentioned, we have started a list of 102 people that we submitted to all these various places that we mentioned. Uh, that must be considered for sanctions and their families. And uh, the two acts that uh, we uh, have requested the government to act through, the Ministry uh, Act and uh, the uh, uh, Foreign Narcotics Kingpin uh, uh, Act, uh, the foreign, uh, drug, foreign Narcotics Kingpin Act is specifically targeted towards uh, Bola Tunubu. Uh, for his uh, obvious uh, you know, drug-related uh, uh, crimes in, uh, here in the United States. And uh, that is a new dimension uh, that uh, we intend uh, to escalate. And uh, I will also want every one of us uh, to uh, you know, review that act. It's not a very uh, uh, complex, uh, complicated one. Um, so that uh, we will make that case again and again uh, to make sure that uh, um, he can uh, run with uh, the uh, fake return uh, 
certificate. I mean, like everything else he had, which is fake. So this is not fake certificate that uh, he just was given. Um, yeah, the, exactly. In fact, somebody made a video where he was, uh, uh, somebody, I think it was Buhari, was handing them that certificate and they had it fake, you know, written on it. Um, so, so we may have to worry well, about that too and make that go back. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it doesn't belong to us. And uh, when it, uh, the right things are done, uh, the right uh, certificate of return uh, will be given return uh, to the rightful uh, owner. Um, all that said, I want to again uh, say uh, uh, don't have much uh, to add. Uh, all of you have done uh, uh, people very, very proud. Um, I know Nigerians have been looking forward to this day, and I'm sure they're going to be very happy uh, with uh, the outcome of this uh, particular day. Uh, like uh, Pastor Ihim mentioned, um, more of this is going to be happening. Um, I happen to be part of uh, the leadership here in the U.S. when we uh, prosecuted in the Deco fight. And uh, some of the things uh, that uh, we're going to be doing now is going to be to the terror around the same uh, uh, strategies. Um, I want to also say uh, that I am proud because today the visa ban we talked about was uh, part of uh, an initiative uh, that myself uh, guided the at the time, uh, spearheaded, even though eventually he joined the Abacha regime. Uh, as the case may be, but those uh, things we can readily uh, apply today, continue to fight for today, and I'm sure that uh, the, uh, if you also know, the Supreme Court judges that rendered the, uh, very, very, the, the, the weird uh, ruling in Imo State, yes. where the fought became first, um, we also did the same thing. We, we pushed for uh, the Trump administration. Uh, eventually, they put a visa ban on uh, those, uh, uh, those uh, uh, Supreme Court judges. Uh, so we are going to be making up going to them again that we are still in the trenches. We are still by the barricades. Uh, if you guys misplace a mistake, uh, make an error in uh, delivering the wrong judgment, in this particular case, um, we, will be, we will be on your case. There's no question about it. So once again, thank you everyone. Uh, this is the beginning. Let's all stand tall, stand strong, and let's keep fighting. Thank you very much.